Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I'm going to show you how to make faux fur pom-poms. So I have a piece of faux fur fabric here that I got at my local craft store and you can see it has a side with no fur and then the furry side. So you're going to flip it over and you're going to make a circle and I was just using the spool that I have and the top of the spool is five and a half inches across. Then I just grabbed a sharpie and traced around the spool and here's my circle. Okay, so now you're gonna cut the circle out and you wanna try not to cut through too much of the fur. So what I did is I just got some really sharp scissors and you just take, you make really small cuts right along the base fabric. Try not to make big cuts cause then you'll end up cutting a lot of the fur underneath and it's just really messy that way. Here's our little fur toupee looking thing. So I flipped it over and now I'm gonna grab a sewing needle and this is some crochet cotton or you can just use any kind of thread or um, embroidery floss you have. And I'm just starting it onto my needle and then I'm going to fold it in half and meet up the ends. And then you're just gonna start doing a running stitch. So I made the first stitch and I just left the end kind of sticking out. I didn't tie a knot or anything. And you're gonna do a running stitch. So you just go up and down about a half inch to maybe three quarters of an inch away from each other each time. And you're gonna do that all the way around your circle. Alright, when you get back to where you started, you're going to make the last stitch come out right next to the ends that you had sticking out at the beginning. And then you're going to just kind of pull on them to cinch it up a little bit and it's going to make kind of this bowl shape here. And now we need to stuff it. So a good thing to use to stuff it is just like leftover scrap yarn or if you do macrame, some macrame cord. I have some random just yarn off cuts here that I'm stuffing in. You can also use poly polyfill stuffing, but um, I didn't have any on hand at the moment. So I'm just using this yarn, which also works perfectly well. So just shove that down in there. And then you're going to grab the two ends and you're going to pull them really tightly and then kind of you're going to pull and you'll probably have to shove your filling back down inside again and then you're going to pull the strings and tie a knot so i tied the first half of the knot and pull it really good and tight and then try to hold it in place as you tie the other uh, half of the knot and you're probably going to get some of the fur caught in your knot but it's actually not so bad because it kind of covers up the little hole there anyways then I went ahead and I tied it again. Never hurts to triple knot. And then your fur pom-pom is complete. That's all there is to it. Just fluff it up a little bit and then you can use these long ends to attach it to the top of your hat. You just thread one of the ends onto a needle. I got a blunt large eye needle here. And you're gonna bring that down on one side of the center of the top of your hat. Not right in the center, but kind of to the side. And then you thread the other piece onto your needle and you're going to put it down into the top of your hat as well, but it's going to be across from the center there. So let's see, they're not quite going right down in the middle. They're kind of going over to the side a little. Pull the other string down through and then flip your hat inside out and tie a knot or a bow to secure your pom-pom. If you want to make it removable, just tie a bow and you can double knot the bow if you want and then it'll really be on there pretty securely, but it is removable. I like to be able to take mine off whenever I go to throw it in the washing machine, but if you don't mind it being attached permanently, you can just tie a knot. And now your pom-pom is attached. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. 
Thanks for watching.